We're going live in three, two, one. We're live, guys. All right, welcome to this class. Welcome here for joining here at, at this classroom. Today we're going to be doing uh, second grade math, okay? Um, this is geometry. Now here's the thing how geometry works is that it builds on each other. So you have, you know, you have middle school, geometry, in sixth grade, they teach you a little bit. And then in seventh grade, they teach you a little bit more. And in the eighth grade, they teach you a little bit more. Uh, and then so forth until you get to high school geometry. So this is seventh grade geometry, but this is geometry that you're still gonna use in all the grades anyway. So if you're here and you're in another grade, you're not in particularly in seventh grade, that's still cool because you can still, you know, learn and refresh. Um, you're going to need geometry until you get to 10th grade. And after 10th grade, um, in 11th, you won't have geometry. 12th, you won't have geometry until you go to college. And guess what? Then you'll have geometry again. So this is definitely useful for all grades, okay? But specifically, it's for my 7th grade class. Hey, what's up, everyone? I see everybody jumped in already here. Liam, what's going on? Isabella, again, good to have you. My true breaker right there. Uh, Addison, uh, you're here. Didn't I, didn't I see you, Addison, outside driving? I, I thought I saw you. I saw you driving. Well, anyway, thanks uh, for, for being here. Jada, if you missed the eighth grade one, you could just always go back. By the way, when this video is done, you could always go back and, and watch the other videos. But those of you who don't know me and joining me who are not my students, this video was originally intended for my students. Uh, you know, I'm, in, I'm actually in classroom. I know school suspended, but I'm here. And you know, my, it's, it's empty seats, but I'm here. But I decided, you know what, let me, you know, just blast it to everybody, to anybody who wants to join the classroom, you may. If you're here and you're not my students, well, now you are. Thank you for joining here. Uh, my name is Mr. Bosell. Um, you know, this channel is actually um, more than, than a math channel. It's really a motivational channel, an inspiration channel. And I do a lot of traveling. So, you know, that's what I put on this channel. And now since we are under, you know, circumstances, it's going to be a breaking math channel as well. I'm going to make a little section in the bottom, which I already did. You can check out all the other videos, which is called Breaking Math. Um, that's what we're doing. Welcome, everyone. Like I said, in the, five, the first five minutes, here's the agenda for the day. No warm-up for my students. Okay, there's no warm-up. Hey, Ivory, are you doing your warm-up? Are you? Oh, you sit over there, actually. Are you doing your warm-up? No, I'm kidding. You, you don't have a warm-up today. But here's the agenda for today. We have uh, the welcome, which, you know, I'm still kind of saying hi to everybody. Aiden, what's going on, buddy? Um, Isabella just, like, been here all day. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Uh, what are we doing today? Exactly. That's kind of what I'm going over right now. Today we're doing volume of a cylinder. I don't know why I put cone there. I'm sorry. That's a typo right there. It's actually volume of a cylinder is what we're going to do today, okay? We're, then we're going to do uh, some student practice, a little Q&A, and at the end we'll do some shout-outs, okay? Or maybe some even some... Some, some TikToks or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we'll start, you know. But listen, today's Motivation Monday also. Today's Monday, guys. Happy Monday to everybody. So before we even get started with the lesson, I, I said this to the other class at the end, and I was like, you know, let me just say this to start out with. Motivation Monday, right? In life, you get what you put in. Just simply as that. Um, like, for example, this these videos, they're not really a requirement. You could come in. I'm not taking attendance. But, you know, we're here, we're having kind of having fun anyway, talking to each other, and you're still kind of in, in the same community. So that's pretty cool, you know. But in life, you get what you put in. If you if you do a 10, guess what you get out? You get a 10. If you put in a 2, you get a 2 out. And that's in everything you do, okay? So, again, you know, just go out there in life, and when you're, when you're doing stuff, just think about that. They're like, whatever I put in, you get out. Um, if you have a job or anything you do, people are always watching you, and they're like, oh, you know what? This person's putting in a 10. Or, or, you know, you, you see other people like, you know, that person is not working at all. They're not doing what they're supposed to do. And then, you you know, they won't get the raise. They won't get to do whatever they want. Or with your parents, if if you all of a sudden you, you know, fix up your room and, and you help out in the home, your parents will be so happy that they'll even like, you know, every next time that you ask for something, they'll be like, yeah, of course. This is my, you know, of course. Yeah, sure. Vice versa. You, you know, you're like not doing anything and just, you know. It's the vice versa. So you put in whatever you put in, you get out. All right. Anyway, let's get let's get started over here. All right. That's uh, enough for Motivation Monday here. I am pumped up. I, I do like this, by the way. I do. I, I like teaching and I, I, I like math. So it's all good. It's all good. All right. So we're going to start today. OK, um, my projector has been messed up. I don't know what's wrong with it. So if it kind of glitches, it was glitching on the previous uh, uh, thing. 
I think, which is, we'll figure it out, okay? Oh, by the way, we did start doing cylinders, but there was a lot of people who were absent and we played Kahoot. <gasps> That's a good, we could play Kahoot. Thank you, Aiden. We could actually. Wow, Aiden, thank you. We could, maybe not today because I don't have one ready, but we could play Kahoot later, right? We'll see, we'll even give out emojis and I'll put them on the board for you. Oh, Aiden, thank you. Big brain, big brain. All right, not, not today. I just, I didn't have a, one ready. So I, you know, but I think we could do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. By the way, I'm going to be on all week. I'm going to be on at 9 a.m. for high school geometry and at 10 a.m. for you guys, uh, seventh grade geometry is what we're doing now. Okay. Um, all right. Um, let's unfreeze this thing. I hope it works. I hope it works. I hope it works. Yes. Oh, you see? It's glitching. Oh, no. All right. If it's glitching, I'm just going to have to do it by hand, draw it to you by hand, which is, which is fine. I just have to get there. Man, it's very glitchy. Very, very glitchy. I can't, I don't understand why it's so glitchy. What's wrong with it? I came in and it was, it was like this. All right, guys, you know how, what I'm going to do? I'm going to have to draw it so by hand. I don't understand why it's like that. I'm going to have to draw it by hand, which is okay. Good thing. I'm a good artist. Right, I'm, shutting, I'm shutting this off, I guess, because it, it doesn't work. All right. All right. So, oh, 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 it's working. No, it's not working. Got him. All right. Let's shut this off. All right. Shut off. Sorry. Projectors. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work on cylinders. Like I said, uh, we had done cylinders already, but there was a lot of people absent. It was like when people went to the dance or uh, the dance contest, Ivy, that was you. Um, so give me a second. I got to get more markers. All right, so a cylinder. We have a cylinder. This is how you draw a cylinder. You just draw a circle on top and it's kind of like a boxing in the bottom. You can also draw a circle in the bottom, oval. Um, if you want, you copy this down. If not, you can just watch along, okay? Um, okay, so there's, there's the formula that you need to know, okay? And there's no other way around it. It's volume equals pi, 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 sorry. Pi r squared h. That's the formula that you need to know, okay? Pi r squared. You need to know that formula. There's no way around it. You just have to memorize that. Um, and, and by the way, they're not even going to give you that in, on, the, uh, on the reference sheet. Remember I told you guys? Um, the reference sheet will have this. The reference sheet will have volume equals base height. That's the one that they're going to give you, this one right here. They're not going to give you this one. But here's the thing. This is not really that useful. This is the one you need. Does anybody know why? I, I did mention that before. Why, why is it that this becomes this? Why does this B become this part? Okay. I'll give you a second to think about that. But it has to do with the circle. Give me a second. Maybe. Give me guys a second. It has to do with the circle. All right. So here's the deal. This B signifies for the area of the base of this figure. I didn't draw it, but you know what, I should, I should draw it out. And the bottom of a cylinder has a circle as well. So the bottom of the base is the area of a circle. And the formula for area of a circle is pi r squared. And that's where we get this from. So this b just gets replaced with this part. That part is the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. Done. There you go. All right, um, and then you, that's, that's all you have to kind of know there. You have to do memorize that formula. The next thing you have to know is these numbers over here, which I had examples already, so just let me look it up, because now I don't know the examples. Um, all right, the first example was diameter four, diameter four inches, and the height is three inches, okay? That was the first example here that I'm doing to you guys now. Uh, for those of you who remember this lesson, um, you kind of should, you know, know, grab a piece of paper, just quickly get it done. But I will do this one with you guys, okay? So, first I need pi, that's, you know, I know that that's 3.4. Second, I need r. Now, I know what you're thinking. Four, four, four. Uh, actually, no. Because four is the diameter, and we need radius. So, what do we do? We need four to be push. We need four to be cut, all right? 
So we're going to take 4 and we're going to divide it by 2 because radius is just this little piece here. Radius is just 2. Okay? 2 inches. Because 2 inches and 2 inches gives you 4. Okay? Mm -hmm. Divide by 2. Exactly. Pizza snack. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but thank you, Pizza Snack, for, for saying divide by 2. Exactly. Very good. Isabella's ahead. Then you're going to do 2 times 2. Because I'm going to plug it in here. So I'm just going to take that 2 and I'm going to put it here first, okay? Just so you guys can see what's happening. So 2 squared and then h is 3. I just grabbed it from here. That's all I, that's all I did. Plugged it in. Now I'm going to grab my handy-dandy calculator. Boom! Here's my calculator. Um, you can use your phone. Fine, fine. You can use your phone. Oh, that's the bell. No, the bell doesn't dismiss you. I dismiss you. Stay there. The bell does not dismiss you. I'm kidding. Isn't there's no bell? <laughs> hey Jasmine, what's going on? Did you just join on? Meerkat, you said you're confused. Um, all right, I'll recap a little bit, okay? Just maybe I'm talking a little too fast here. Let me get a coffee break. Coffee break. They put the music. I don't know if you can hear it, but but they, but they put the music. But the bell just rang. This is illegal. You stay there, Liam. Don't move. The bell doesn't dismiss you. You're bored. This is awesome. All right, fine. I'll make it more interesting, okay? I'll make a TikTok with you guys. We should do a YouTube live TikTok. It's pretty interesting. All right. Let's get going, all right? So let's, let me, Jasmine, I'll kind of backtrack a little bit. Explain it just a little bit more, okay? I gave you, given, was a scream very loud. At the end, they'll think I'm like dying over here. <laughs> the diameter was four, okay? That was given. The height was three. That was given. In the, in the FSA, you're going to be giving this formula. That formula is not useful. So I'm just going to erase it. We don't even need it. I mean, it is useful, but this one is the one you need to know. This one right here. I'm going to erase this, this parenthesis. You have to memorize this. If you don't memorize that, I, 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 just, I, could, I can't help you out more. You have to memorize it. It's just like memorizing vocabulary. We have to memorize that formula, okay? Next, we're going to start plugging things in. First, we need an R. Now, remember, I gave you a diameter of four, but the diameter is not needed. We need radius. So what we do is we cut the four, we chop it. Once we chop it, we're able to get two as the, as the, uh, as the radius. Are we okay, Jasmine? You, you got that? Cat, what's up? How you doing? Dilly, you're tired of home. Come on, look, I'm here in school. Come on, I woke up so early, you're just chilling at your house. Come on. Anyway, so I took the four diameter, I cut it, chopped it in half. Two, two is here. I'm just gonna grab one because I just need one radius, okay? So I put it here. I just substitute it, substitution. Now I'm a, oh, and the three is from the height. This is the height of the object. I plugged it in and that's where I'm at now, okay? So now I'm going to grab my handy dandy calculator. By the way, if you do want to watch this again, uh, you know, I don't want to keep we track, we, you know, going back to everything, but you could always um, uh, watch this video at the end. It'll, it'll be here on, on the channel. You can rewatch the whole thing from, from the beginning. All right, so we're going to do two times two first, four. We're still going to check it because you know how you, people still check two times two. Two times two, four. Ah, it is four. Yeah, it is four. Then I'm going to do four times three. Twelve. Now, here's a big thing, okay? If if they say leave in terms of pi, see this right here became 12. If they say leave in terms of pi, you're going to bring down pi, you put down 12, and that is that would be your answer. You'd, you'd be done. That, that's it. You'd be done. If they say leave in terms of pi. The reason sometimes they'll say uh, leave in terms of pi is because... Is because uh, oh, there you go. Sit down, have a seat, warm up, take your take your warm up out. Kamani, you're not doing your warm up. Let's go. I'm kidding. 
Um, the reason they'll say leave in terms of pi is because pi, uh, in terms of pi is actually a perfect answer. So I could do, for example, right now I could do value equals 12 pi, like a perfect answer. Um, but if, if, if you want it, if you, if you actually want to keep going, evaluate is the next word that they would use to get the final answer. So I'm going to take 12, 12, oh, sorry, 12 times 3.14. For those of you who are just joining me, I'm going to hit equals there. But for those of you who are just joining me, okay, yes, 12 is about 12 times 3.14. And that's exactly what we're doing. For those of you who are just joining me, um, pi is 3.14159. 535268979. Did I mess that up? I don't know. But anyway, what I what I was saying is that let's not let's not uh, do all those numbers because we don't need all those numbers. So we're just gonna cut it and say 3.14. The reason for that is that we all get the same answer. If I hit a pi button or I keep using different digits for pi, I'll get different answers. And nobody, by the way, nobody will get the exact answer because pi, you said it, it's never exact. Some coffee. stuff all right let's keep going here so oh, i got the answer i got the answer here so 37.68 is the answer so volume is approximately 37.68 inches cubed is the answer okay that is my answer there we're done that was the whole that was the whole deal it's actually that it, it's it, i mean i took a long time to do this problem because i wanted to talk you through everything but it's so you're just grabbing the numbers, putting it into the formula, and just grabbing a calculator. Now, remember, on the FSA, you have two days of the FSA, and I know I've said this before, but I'll say it again, especially for people who uh, are not even my students that might be here. Um, there's two days. Day one, uh, you do not have a calculator. If they give you a, uh, a problem like this, then they'll give you, like, easy numbers, but then you have to do the math yourself. Day two, they will give you harder numbers, but then you have a calculator and you could always use that. Um, in seventh grade, just to let you know, um, you do have to know how to do multiplication of decimals. That's one of the standards in seventh grade. In eighth grade, um, it's actually the same thing. Day one, you do not have a calculator. Day two, you, you do have a calculator. Um, and same kind of idea. In sixth grade, if anybody's watching me from sixth grade, you never have a calculator. Day one or day two, you do not have a calculator at all. There's none. Um, if you're watching me from higher grades, um, on the EOCs, on the EOC, same thing. Day one, you don't have a calculator. Day two, you do. So same idea. All right. All right. Let's um, let's let's do another problem. I'm gonna give you one to do yourself, but now I have to grab it and write it on the board because I, you know, the project is not working. So I'm gonna erase this here, and I'm actually gonna give you two problems. Okay. One of them is going to be a cube. Or not a cube, a rectangular prism. And the other one is going to be a cylinder. Okay? For those of you who don't know how to do a cube, watch this magic. Voila, you draw a square. You draw another square. Wait, 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 wait. Check out the magic, check out the magic. And you connect the corners. And then, boom, you have a cube. Look at that. How nice is that? That's pretty cool. I'm going to give you some numbers here. I'm going to say this front piece is 12 feet. I'm going to say this part is 10 feet. And the height is 11 feet. Now, I, I know this was in part of the lesson, but I kind of just still want to do with you guys. And we did do this before in my class. Uh, volume equals length, width, and height. And you just have to multiply all these numbers. That's, that's, that's in there. Okay? Now I'm going to give you another one. This one is going to be a cone, what we just did now. And this one, I'm going to give you the radius. The radius R equals six feet. Oops, sorry. Six feet. And the height is 11 feet. Okay? That's the two. And I'm actually going to give you the formula here also. Volume equals pi R squared H. These are the two formulas that you have for both. So I'm going to give you about... Uh, three minutes and to do these problems yourself okay just put it in there um 
like I said, man, you, you, you get out what you put in, all right? So just try it and put it in there, uh, you know, get it done. I'm gonna give you about three minutes while I get coffee break. Tastes good. All right, guys, I'll give you another minute or so. Um, yeah, I'm making the coffee there, buddy. Oh. Ivory. Mmm, tastes good. So how are you guys doing with this whole Corona time? You guys okay? By the way, it's really hot in this room right now. They don't even have the AC going, so I'm not like, dying here. Tomorrow I'm going in short sleeves. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for you guys to answer this the whole time. That's it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay, fine. I I'll give you another another minute, right? Isabella, you got the answer. Meerkats, you don't get it. All right. Tell me exactly what you don't get, and let me, let me uh, try to clarify while everybody else keeps working. Every different. <laughs> Liam, how you doing? By the way, I know I know you 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 know you kind of you were sick before. I hope you're doing better. I don't see Dylan in the stream. I hope if if anybody knows Dylan, I hope he's he's doing good because he's he has been sick as well. OK, 
Okay, so I'm gonna get out the way so you just can kind of see this thing, okay? Because I was in the way. Of I'll give you another minute to try the problem. You're supposed to be trying the problems, okay? Oh, Dylan is fine. Thank you, George. Tell him, is he joining these uh, these lives? Is he joining it? Um, I hope he, you know, you can, he could join it. By the way, if you want to share this with other people who, you know, who are not even in the class, share it. Um, I think it'll be good for anybody, really. Okay. Um, I see some people already have the, uh, the COVID-19. Good job, Aiden, um, for having that. Stay away from me. All right, pizza snack has an answer. We're gonna do both of them together. Um, we'll do the first one. The first one, I'll write it down first. I'll, I'll write down how you're supposed to write it down. But this one's very easy. So this is the length, this is the width, and this is the height. If you mess that up, it actually doesn't matter because they're the same, like uh, interchangeable, I meant to say. Not the same, they're interchangeable because you're still gonna multiply them. I'm gonna put 12 times 10 times 11, right? So we have that right there, and then we're just gonna put in the calculator. We're gonna say 12 times 10 times 11. And we have 1320 for this guy. 1320 cubed. This is volume equals. Since it does not have pi, it's an exact answer. It's an equal. It's a perfect answer, right? Boom. Done. That's your answer. Um, like, yeah, come on. This is, this is first, seventh grade. Um, eighth grade as well, by the way, uh, and 10th grade, because this is also part of 10th grade geometry. So, but this is going to be on your seventh grade test. Sophia, what's going on? What's up? Good that you woke up and you're joining us here. Oh, by the way, Sophia, I got my phone working again. I sent you a message, uh, and I got a phone working kind of, it kind of messed up. I'll see you guys at the end. Sorry, sorry. I'm getting distracted here. All right, come back to work. I put my phone in the water in the beach and it destroyed my phone. But it started working again. Anyway, let's go back to this. For this one, we're going to grab R is 6. R is 6 already. So we're just going to grab 6 here, squared times 5 times 11. So we have here, uh, this is the, form, the, the next step here. I know how much is 6 times 6. That's 66. That's the first thing you have to do because you have to follow PEMDAS. So 6 times 6 is 36. And then I'm going to do times 11. Okay? So I'm going to grab my handy man calculator. And I'm going to do 36 times 11. And that's 396. Now, the reason that's important is because if they say in terms of pi, oh, you guys can't see that. It's like in the bottom. Oh, you can't see that. But I guess the next point we'll be able to see. All right. Moving down. If they say in terms of pi, this would be the answer. And the reason that's important is because that is still an equal portion because we have not evaluated the pi. However, if we are about to uh, evaluate, then we have to do the volume is approximately, and actually do this 396 times 5. 396 times 3.14. Equal sign, boom. And that is my approximate answer. Okay, so I'm going to put one, two, four, three. One, two, four, three, point four, four. Okay, and that's going to be feet cube. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up right there if you had that. Give me a thumbs up if you had that. Leave a thumbs up if you got that answer. And if you got that answer, give me a thumbs up. Um, Meerkat, what does H stand for? R stands for radius, H stands for height, okay? So the radius, sorry, the picture's kind of messed up here, but the radius was six and I, I gave you that. And the height of this cylinder is 11 and I gave you that, that was given, okay? So I see a bunch of, uh, a bunch of thumbs up, uh, Good. Ivory, I think you just needed more time. Sorry. Jasmine. <laughs> Cat, that's funny. That's funny memes. 
Anyway, um, I lost my train of thought. I don't know that. You know, little dumb thing is funny. Um, when you're trying to do math, but you're shy. Um, H's height radius is six. I took the eleven and I plugged it in for height, and I took the six and I plugged it in for radius. And then I just I just value, started evaluating. So six times six is thirty-six. And then 36 times 11 is 396. 3,306, but I didn't evaluate for pi yet. The reason I left it like that is because you could potentially leave it like that. But then if you want, you can multiply that finally and get this final answer here. And remember, the answer is never going to be an exact answer because of, because of, because of the circle, because circles are never exact. So um, that's it. That's, that's the whole deal. Um, if you were able to follow along, you guys, you guys did great. I did have more, I did have more problems, um, but I'm going to cut it, cut it here for today. I think we did great guys today. Um, everybody here is, is doing Meerkat. I'll, I'll explain it one more time. Okay. At the end, uh, you can stay at the end and I'll explain it one more time. Okay. But before that, let's move on. Um, and just say that, you know, thanks for, for, for coming here, for joining and, uh, yeah, um, I'll, I'll give you another example at the end. Oh, you guys want another one now? I, I had, but it, you, know what, you know what it was? The, the projector's not working. I'll give you one more example, okay? I have one more. I had like three more, but because of the projector. All right, we'll do one more. One more. Forget about the, forget about the, 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 the cube. We're not going to do that anymore. We're just going to focus on the cylinder, okay? I'll give you one last one. This is a cylinder. I'm going to give you the cylinder. I'm going to give you the radius. And when you say 6.5, I'm giving that to you. I'm going to say this is centimeters. And I'm going to give you the height. The height is 16 centimeters. Okay? Now, again, when you have this problem, the first thing you need is the formula. The formula is volume equals pi r squared h. That's the formula that you need. Okay? So I'm going to give you there uh, two minutes you, to, to, to put this in here. Uh, Jasmine, if you're, you know, if you just try it, come on, try it, you're home, I'm in school, you're home, you're not, you know, come on, Jasmine, you can do it, you can do it. Uh, Meerkat, who is Meerkat, by the way, I don't know who you are, but um, here we have this formula here, and just do this problem here, I'll give you two minutes, all right? Mr. Bosell, Dilling is coming. Yeah, he could come on. Tell Dylan to join on. Yes, come on. Good question. I am going to be on every day, every day this week, Monday through Friday. I know Tuesday we were originally going to have off, but I'm still going to do this every day, Monday through Friday. Okay, um, just come on, and it's you know, come on, it's fun to you're just here, you're talking to each other. It's it's fun. Tell me now. Oh, you're right. There is two Dylan's. Sorry. Um, Dylan in fifth period, I meant. Dylan in fifth period. All right, let me um, let me begin, okay? Um, Meerkat, I hope you were trying that problem. Let's let's just start here plugging stuff in, okay? Um, let me grab a lead marker just so it can be a little different. Listen, did you check with Miss Smith? 
I mean, yeah, Miss Smith has her baby, actually. She did have her baby. I actually do have a picture of that somewhere. I don't know how to show you because I'm actually transmitting from my laptop, so I wouldn't be able to show you. But she did have her baby. Yes. Congrats, Miss Smith. All right, we're going to plug this in. So 6.5 was the radius. Okay. So we're going to put this here, right here. We're just going to put this here. So I'm going to bring high here. I'll put 6.5 squared. Okay. And I'll put 16 here. Okay. Where did I get the 6.5? From the radius. Where did I get the 16? From the height. That's all I did. Okay. Now I'm going to start multiplying. Now this one's a little harder because it's a decimal, but you know what? I have my calculator, so you know I'm not going to go crazy with that math here. We're just going to put 6.5 times 6.5 equals. 42.25. So this piece right here is 42.25. And then this piece right here is 16. I, I didn't do that yet. I will in a minute. We're going to do this times this here. So we're going to do 42 times 16 is 625. 625. If they sell even terms of pi, that would be your answer. We're going to keep going. We're going to say six. Uh, oh, sorry, did I write it wrong? Hold on, let me do it again. I think I wrote it wrong. Uh, 42.25 times 16. It's, yeah, sorry, it's 676. 676. Okay. And then we're going to take that times 3.14, hit equals, and that's going to be 2,000, 21. 22.64, and that's volume is approximately this number right here for this cylinder. Okay, anybody get that? Meerkat, I was you know doing this especially for you, so I hope that you were able to get that answer right there. Cool. Cool, awesome. Meerkat, good job. You're a breaker. You're a breaker fan. By the way, that's what I call breaker fam, is what I call the people in my YouTube channel. So now that you guys have my YouTube channel, check out all my other videos. I have cool videos there. Uh, check them out. Um, the ones I travel, those are pretty cool. Uh, check out the ones that I did from Ecuador just, just this last summer. They're pretty good. Um, and I call the people who follow me breakers. So now you guys are all officially breakers. All right, we got that. Good God, good job, guys. You guys are awesome. Um, listen, we're gonna do a shout out. All right. So if you didn't know, I'm gonna raise this here. If you didn't know, I also have a, a TikTok math a math TikTok. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if everybody who, who's watching knew this. Um, I know I mentioned it sometimes, and sometimes I don't. I need a thousand subscribers for breaking math. Okay. Because I want to go live on TikTok breaking math. So if you don't, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, I'm breaking math, it's called, on TikTok. Go check it out, please. I need, I need, I need my, uh, I need a thousand followers so I could go live on TikTok. I guess I could go live on, on my main channel, but I just haven't had time to do that. But, but I need, I need, I need uh, breaking math followers. Come on, come on. Subscribe, subscribe there. But let's do a shout out. If anybody here, you, let's follow each other. There's a bunch of people right here. There's 34 people right now on watching this. So if you have like, a, for example, you want people to follow you here, this is the, the shout out section right now. So put like, for example, uh, on the comments, put if you don't have a TikTok, whatever, Instagram, I don't know, whatever you guys have, Snapchat, put follow me at TikTok and put your thing right here in the, in the, in the comment section. And then, you know, we could follow each other. Uh, it says, what? You want, you want free V-Bucks? What? Who wants free V-Bucks? All right, so just put it in there, okay? Where you want, where you want to, uh, to people to subscribe for you, then you could guys, could, we could all follow each other, right? So like a follow for follow, all right? That's good. You see, Isabella put I Barrera 54 and Snap. That's cool. Um, where's our hall? What? Amani, I don't know, I understand what you wrote. Where's the hall pass? 
Um, let's put your, your information there, giving you a little bit of time. Ivory says Ivory Marie 05 at TikTok. Go follow her right there. And Ivory put her, her snap also at Ivory, Ivory Ice. Ivory Ice 13 at Snap. Wolves, Wolves Rock at Wolves Rock 360. That's an inst Instagram right there. Ooh, you know what? Let me, let me look for that one. Because I, I don't even know who that is. Let's look for that one. Who is this person? Wolves Rock. Wolves Rock. Yeah, George, you can use the bathroom. We'll rock at what? 360. All right, I have Wolves Rock. It's a it's actually a private, it's a private account, but that's Wolves Rock right there. That's Wolves Rock. And that's Instagram right there. You know how you get, you, you see your phone and you get distracted? Yeah, it happens to teachers as well. Anyway, we'll put it there. I hope you guys are able to, you know, follow each other here. Um, we'll leave it right there for today. It's 1045 already. We've been on for 45 minutes. That's cool. We had fun. We had a blast. We did some work. We spoke. We did a chat. Um, oh, where's your late pass? It's right. What? Why? What? I was in late. Wait, you're talking, you're saying I'm late? Actually, okay, I was a minute late, but I was like doing stuff, man. This, I was trying to get this, this thing, uh, this, this projector working. All right, so uh, we're going to cut it there, guys. Thank you for joining. Uh, I'm going to be on all week. I'm going to be on at 9 o'clock for, for high school geometry. And then 10 a.m., 9 a.m. for high school geometry. And then 10 a.m. for seventh grade and really middle school geometry, okay? That's, that's kind of the breakdown, all right? So if you want to come in at 9 Feel, feel free to join in. Um, we're kind of we're still doing geometry, by the way, but it's a little bit more advanced. If you want to get more advanced, and you know, again, like I said, you put in, you, you get out what you put in. If you want to join in at nine, fine, sure. If you want, if not, just come here at ten a.m. It's actually not mandatory. If you notice, I'm not taking attendance or anything. Um, but you know, it's it's good to have you guys and and, and talk with you guys here. Um, you know, I like you guys. Believe it or not, I, I like being a teacher and I like being around you guys and you know, just having fun. Um, that's why I'm here. On a, on, my, on a day off, well, sort of. There's actually a lot of teachers here. There were, there were a lot of teachers, but nobody's doing this live. Nobody, zero teachers are doing this live. It's kind of cool. Like I said, if you want, share this with other, with other friends and tell them, hey, join this class. Mr. Bosell is going to be on it, on live. And of course, if you, if you miss it, you could just go back and, and watch this. It wouldn't be live in the comments and kind of make it more interesting. But, um, but you know, it's, you can still watch it and see what happened in the class. All right, guys. See you guys. I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. Be here at 10 a.m. All right. As always, keep breaking through. See you guys later.